In this video, I'll walk you through a solution I put together for generating leads from LinkedIn comments. So I'm able to go from a LinkedIn post that has a bunch of comments from the people that I want to reach out to, all the way to a Google Sheet that has the LinkedIn profile URL of each person and a verified business email that I can reach out to. Now, as part of this solution, I aim to automate five key tasks. The first task is monitoring the activity of a list of creators that are creating content that is within my niche, right? The, the content that attracts people that I actually want to reach out to. For example, here I found the profiles of three business owners that are creating business related content and they are actively posting. Now on the activity section of their profile, I can see their latest posts. So this is what I'm interested in for task number one, the monitoring the latest uh, posts from a list of uh, creator profiles. Now, the second task is to open up each one of these posts and extract the list of people who have commented, right? These are the people that I'm interested in finding the business emails of so I can reach out to them. That's task number two. Now, the third task is to open up the profile page of each one of those people and find the company that they currently work at. So that's usually gonna be on the experience section here. Now the fourth task is to open the company profile page by accessing the URL that is usually hidden under the company logo here. And on the company profile page, what I want is to extract the, um, the website of the company, which means that I will also get access to the domain of the company. And then the fifth task is to take the first name of the person, the last name of the person, and the domain of the company they currently work at, and perform a search in a email finder tool such as uh, Hunter.io to try and find the verified business email address of that person. Now to automate all these tasks, I use a platform called Phantom Buster, which is a web scraping solution that offers a bunch of different uh, LinkedIn scrapers that help you extract the data from pretty much any section on LinkedIn. I will put a link in the description below if you wanna sign up for a free trial. Now, in Phantom Buster, to automate the first task, which is extracting the list of posts from a, um, a list of creator profiles, I use this Phantom, or in other words, this automation called LinkedIn Activity Extractor. Now, in this automation, if I open it up here in my dashboard, and I go to the setup page. In this automation, I need to provide a URL of a Google Sheet that contains the links of all the profiles that I want to monitor the posts of. So if I go here to my spreadsheet called LinkedIn Profiles, you can see that I have the three URLs of the profiles that I'm monitoring the posts of. And then in the behavior section here of the setup, I'm telling the Phantom that I want to be extracting the posts from each one of these profiles, right? So this Phantom will get executed at a regular interval and it will look for new posts under those profiles. Currently I have it set so every time it launches, it extracts three posts from each profile, but I could increase that number if I see that the profile is making uh, multiple posts per day. Then in the launch settings, I have it set so it gets triggered once per day. So every day it will go through those profiles and extract all the latest posts. So that's the first task automated. Now to automate the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth task, all I have to do is use one more of these automations called the LinkedIn post commenters to emails. And what this automation does, it's actually called a flow because it contains multiple phantoms in it. What it does is I'm giving it as input the results of the LinkedIn Activity Extractor Phantom. So this Phantom here, which I'm using to extract the posts from the creator profiles that I'm monitoring. And then it goes through those posts and extracts the list of people who have commented, or in other words, the commenters, the post commenters. And then after that, it follows the process that I explained at the beginning of this video of opening up the profile of each person, finding the, um, the, the company that they currently work at, uh, opening the company profile, finding the website, extracting the domain name from the website. Um, and then after it does all that, 
if we go to email discovery here, it also performs an email search. So Phantom Buster integrates with um, uh, some email finders. So they actually have their own email finder uh, and they're using drop contact behind the scenes. Uh, but you basically get some uh, email finding credits on your account, like email discovery credits, as you can see here. On the standard plan, you get uh, 500 credits. Um, but you can also connect to any of the other services that they have here. And yeah, it basically does the email finding for you, right? It's all automated. It's all baked into this um, to this uh, phantom. Um, so yeah, it, it takes care of this entire workflow here. Um, and then in the behavior tab here, I can also define like how many profiles I want to be scraping per day because uh, obviously we don't want to push LinkedIn too much uh, because we can you know, uh, risk flagging our account if we do too much automation. So here they give you a recommendation on how many uh, profiles you should be scraping per day. I set it to 10, but you can go up to 40 profiles per day. And if you have a sales navigator account, you can do 75 per day. But yeah, this entire process works on autopilot. So as soon as the LinkedIn activity extractor uh, finds new posts on the creator's profiles, then this phantom gets launched and it extracts the commenters from those posts and finds their emails. Now to show you some of the results, I'm gonna click on this phantom and I'm gonna open it up here, 30. Okay, so it got 30 results up until this point and you can see here the fields we have. So we have the LinkedIn profile URL of the person who made the comment. Then we have the professional email address. So this is the email that was uh, found when the email search was performed. Then we have a personal email address. So this is uh, what happens here is sometimes um, a per the person has their email address on their LinkedIn profile and Phantom Buster is able to detect that. So when it does, it, it adds that under this column, the personal email. We have the full name of the person, the first and last name. Uh, we have their image URL, their company, the company URL. And then down here, we have also the, um, the post URL. So this is the URL that they made the comment on. Uh, and in, sometimes you, in some cases, you can also see that we get a, a phone number. Now, uh, looking at the results here, this is, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, uh, 11 emails. Let's say uh, with this one, two, that will be 12 out of uh, 30. So that's it, 12 divided by 30, 0 0.4 times 100, that's a 40% uh, success rate, right? Which is really good. What you can also do is download the results to a CSV file by clicking here, and then uh, you can import it to a Google Sheet so you can reformat the data, clean it up, uh, do whatever you need to do with it, and then you can also easily upload it to a cold email outreach software of your choice. Uh, another thing I want to mention is that you don't necessarily need to get the emails of the people. Um, you can also do your out. You can automate your outreach on LinkedIn itself, right? So instead of instead of um, after after finding the the latest post of each creator, instead of going through this phantom to extract the commenters and then find their emails, what you can do instead is extract just the commenters, just their profiles, and then use the LinkedIn outreach phantom to automate uh, sending an outreach message to them. So what this phantom does is it actually uh, sends out a connection request first, and if uh, you get accepted, then you can automate sending an introduction message and then automating sending up to three follow-up messages after that. So if you prefer to do your outreach through LinkedIn, you can go this route as well. Or, I mean, you can, you can also combine all of these methods together and do outreach on multiple channels. So there's tons of things you can do to uh, extend this automation and customize it for your own needs. But I wanted to give you an overview here to see what's possible and also give you some uh, inspiration. Now, uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Your feedback is always very valuable. And with that said, uh, thank you for watching and I'm going to see you on the next one.